In this video, we are going to review the client list report. We will look at how to run the report as well as what kind of data it pulls and when you might want to run it. This report is located in the reports workspace. You can navigate to the reports workspace by using the workspace button. You can also use the search bar at the top of the screen. Using the search bar will take you directly to the report regardless of what workspace you are in. The client list report is classified as a client type report, and you can see here that it's nested under the client reports submenu. This means it pulls data at the client level. Think demographic type information. Reports at the client level do not take enrollment information into account, such as when a client entered a program or what programs they have been enrolled into. If you want to get a general sense of all clients that your agency has entered into HMIS within a specific time frame, along with basic demographic information about those clients, this is a good report to run. If you want to know what specific program those clients are in, you will want to run a different report such as the Clients and Programs report. Like all reports in the system, you first need to set your report criteria and filters before running it. First set a date range. This report will only pull client records that were created during the date range you set. If you have access to multiple agencies, you will need to make sure you select the agencies you are interested in reporting on. You can filter by user to see who input which clients. You can also filter by a number of different demographic criteria like gender, race, and age. It's important to note that not all client demographics listed here are collected during a normal intake process in HMIS. Some demographics may not be collected at all based on funding source or the Texas Balance of State CLC HMIS implementation. If you have any questions about where certain demographic information is collected in the system, reach out to us at HMIS at THN.org. You also have the option to hide client names and display only the client ID. This is a useful option if you need to select a handful of clients for auditing purposes. I'm going to leave things pretty broad for this example, and I won't select any additional filters. Click the report button at the bottom right to run the report. What you should get is a straightforward list of clients, their names or client IDs, the created date for the HMIS record, and who created that report. Again, it's important to remember that this report will only pull client records of clients that your agency entered into the system. For this reason, the list of clients that you get from this report may not be the full list of clients that you've served within a given time period. That's because it's possible for agencies to use client records that were originally created by different agencies other than their own. And this is what the report looks like if you choose to hide client names. If you need both the client name and client ID in the same report, run the report without hiding the client names and then export the report to Excel. You'll notice that when you're done running the report, you're taken to the Save Report screen where it has a space to send a version of the report to an email address you select. Press Cancel to be taken to the Reports dashboard. That does it for the Client List report. Thanks for watching.